guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we were in the middle of unboxing the deluxe, I think it's the deluxe, edition of the Jeffree Star mystery box and naturally my camera turned off on me. So we're going to start again and we're going to have to speed it up. As you can see, I have all the swatches already done from the previous video. Uh, we had a catastrophe with the, with the, um, one of the Regina George's, as you now know, that is a duplicate, and I shoved my nail straight through it, so that took a little time to clean that up. Anyways, we're going to start again. I'm going to move a little quicker. Sorry if this video seems a little rushed, but I know my camera battery is about to die, and 12 minutes appears to be my limit with this camera, so I'm going to start all over again. I'm going to speed it up, and we're just going to motor right along because, well, I have my swatches pre-done. So, like I had done in my previous video with just the uh, premium box. You receive it the same way. Everything's already taken out because I had already done the video and now I gotta do it again. Kind of like this, kind of like the premium box. Everything was nicely wrapped up in here. However, it's not wrapped anymore and that's, you know, how you get it. Typical mystery box style, just like the original, or the original, just like the uh, premium one. Tissue paper, everything packed in super nice. So I'm gonna put that down there so it's out of the way. Now, I first pulled out the Skin Frost, and the Skin Frost, this is the one that came in there. I'm trying to preserve this because, as you know, it's duplicates. Uh, Regina George, Regina George, and this is the what you risk when you order a mystery box is that you will get duplicate products because these, pro these boxes are created from products that necessarily don't move or that are a little vibrant for customers. Uh, so, again, they, they won't necessarily move that fast. But if you didn't get the premium box... I'm going to, I mean, screw that up. If you didn't get the small box and you got the medium or the deluxe and you haven't looked at it yet, that is, or you didn't see my other video, what Regina George looks like. It's a very pretty highlighter. I actually have it on my face right now. I did demonstrate it. It's pretty, but I find it's too pink. Um, it comes up on me very, very, very pink and I had to dilute it. Um, with another one of the products that I got in this box, and I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to try to go ham here just so you can see it. Um, but it is incredibly pink. It actually washed my blush out this morning when I put this one on, because like I said, I've already opened the other mystery box, the smaller one, so I already had this product. Like, if you can see that, it's very, very pink. So I did dilute it down to a non-crazy level, like this to me is too much, but I did that for the purposes of this video, which is fine. I'm not going out anywhere. So again, pretty highlighter, much like mint condition, which I'm in love with. This one, not so much, but um, you know, I can make this work. I can dilute this. So the other one I'm going to preserve and maybe give away, possibly sell it, but I'm not unhappy about receiving that. The next one, which is what I use to cover up part of Regina George, is a Supreme Frost, and this one was in uh, Frozen Peach. This is actually a pretty color. It's very wearable for a lot of different skin tones. I just find that with his Supreme Frosts, I own the Pro Palette. They don't show up that well on me. I don't, I'm not one that likes to stick my fingers in the product, that's it there, and put, put products on with my fingers, and I find you kind of have to do that with this to get any payoff. I don't know, I've tried it both ways, and it comes up pretty enough on the actual fingers and for swatches it's right here but I just find on my face I can't get payoff and now that I've gone so crazy I'm using my middle finger which is bad so crazy with Regina George I'm not um it's right there I'm not certain my camera can pick that up uh, again I'm not upset about getting this I have the six palette yeah six pan palette for the pro one but I don't have an individual. So this will be nice for me to bring if I'm ever going anywhere and I don't feel like packing a bulky box. So again, not upset about that. I actually, because um, I've seen this box already, because like I said, I'm redid, redoing the video now. I actually like the products in this box better. And I found that between the other ones, I got the smallest box last time when really I should have got the medium box because that appeared to have the best products. And again, this one's the largest one because there is no medium box, but this one appears to have the best products. If you wanted to see an unboxing of uh, the smaller box, 
I'm going to call them small and medium so I don't get confused, then you can check out that video. It's already live on my channel and I go through those products. So the next product that we got was the Velour Liquid Lip in Crocodile Tears. And this is actually a gorgeous green color. That's it there. And I will be using this as an eyeliner. I'm actually using Watermelon Soda as an eyeliner from uh, yesterday's uh, small box and they work works out just fine and that's a swatch right there from crocodile tears again gorgeous color i don't think i could get away with this on my lips but i'm enjoying the color variety of this box better as opposed to the smaller box unpopular opinion i think there was too much pink in that smaller box i know it was valentine's but there's too much pink for me in that box and i know people are used to jeffree star making odder colors but there were no odd colors in that it was it was all pink and if you're not a pink wearer or pink lover you might be a little turned off by a lot of the products you received whereas at least this one as we go through the video you're going to see you get like a green lipstick you get a pink highlighter this is called doll parts it's a pink lipstick it actually velour liquid lip it's actually really pretty as well this is quite wearable uh, right there and I've already have a swatch on my hand it is this one right here. It's quite wearable. It's dried down now, given this is the second shot of this video. So that's it there. And then the follow, the next velour liquid lip that we get, because you do get three, is called Self Control. And I do believe this is from a Valentine's last year. And it's a nicely cool toned lavender color. Again, I would make the attempt to wear this on my lips. This is something I would gravitate toward. And that's it dried down right there. That's a very pretty color. And if it doesn't work out on my lips, I can always wear it as a lip or an eyeliner. So you get these three colors in this box. It's a, a good variety for a brand that you know makes off the wall kind of colors, as well as some very gorgeous neutrals. And like I was saying too, the packaging here that Jeffree Star has created is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, not this was, has anything to do with anything, but like those packages, those are fantastic, especially this one. It's my favorite one out of all of them. That is just amazing packaging. I just throw that in there. So the final lip product that we do get is called Gargoyle. And this is a gray, shouldn't say final lip product, but actual covering lip product. It's a gray lip ammunition. It's quite nice. So that's it there. If you gravitate toward gray lipstick, you're really going to like this color. I don't, I do have a swatch of it. It kind of got a little muddled. It's that one right there. It's kind of got washed away a bit. But uh, it's a nice gray color. I think I would give this a go as well. And it's a good mix of colors. Finally, in terms of actual products, we have, what was this again? Dominatrix. And this is the uh, Velour Lip Liner. I don't have any of his lip liners. And I kind of enjoy this little, like, component thing for the lip liner itself. And that's actually a nice brown lip liner color. That is right there, the swatch. It's a very nice brown color and if it doesn't work out as a lip liner for me because it is a little dark I would wear this as an eyeliner I'm sure it's eye safe as well just like all his products are lip eye safe I believe they're all vegan cruelty free so I would try it as a lip liner or lip liner I would try of course I'll try it as a lip liner but I try it as an eyeliner personally and finally this is the one thing I was scared about receiving I knew we'd be getting a shirt or a sort of clothing item and I knew that it would be this shirt and I it's a can't relate shirt and I absolutely was dreading this this is the one shirt that I didn't want because I hate this hand this hand is so scary I'm not sure if this is supposed to be Jeffree Star's hand but this hand looks like I showed this to my boyfriend and he said that looks like the hand of an old woman and I was just like well you know It'll make a nice sleep shirt. Of all things, it'll make a nice sleep shirt. Um, I know it was supposed to be like one that you can't get online. I'm pretty certain it's in Valentine's Day colors. I'm not sure if the original can't relate had these little hearts here, but this one does. But this hand just really freaks me out. Otherwise, I'm not upset about the products in the box. Like I said, I prefer this box over the smaller box. If you wanted to see what was in the smaller box to do a comparison, Feel free to check out my other video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. And I think that's it. So yeah, if you enjoyed the Jeffree Star Mystery Boxes, did you get, did you get one? Did you not get one? Um, if you did, let me know. Let me know what you thought of it. Which box did you like better? So as always, uh, thank you for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.